Hello and welcome to this video by ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we are going to look at how you can rank fields in a pivot table in Excel 2010. Now Excel 2010 saw the introduction of the ranking field. So it's always been possible before this version but it was awkward and cumbersome and we had our own workaround. But 2010 sees the introduction of a feature to handle this within your pivot tables. So I've got a pivot table at the moment on this spreadsheet that is showing our sales force. And it's got some data such as the number of sales they have made and also the conversion rate based on how many leads they had. Now, the plan is here that I want to keep this table in alphabetical order by the Salesforce name. So yes, I can sort this pivot table and then the best salesperson would be at the top working down to the least successful, for example. But, you know, in some scenarios, that's not what you want. You want to maintain this order to it. And also, to try and amplify this example, I've got two fields, so I can't sort by them both because they're both different fields in their own right. I would like to rank by both fields. So the person who made the most sales is not necessarily the one with the best conversion rate. And we can see that within our data. So the first thing we need to do is bring in the fields again. So I've got them in there once with number of sales, number of conversion. I could just convert them. But I'm looking at bringing these fields again. So I'm going to drag number of cells into the values box. Doesn't really matter where I drop it and position it. But my plan is to put the like the double of the field just to the right of the one that's already there. So duplicating cells there and duplicating conversion here. Yes, the conversion is a slightly different format there. It's not in a percentage. But I'm going to convert this to a rank. So I'm not none too fussed right now. Now all I need to do to convert it to a ranking field is to right mouse click on one of the values that I'm looking to convert to go to show values as and we have this option now to rank largest to smallest. We also have smallest to largest there but that's not what I'm going for right now. So rank largest to smallest that will then ask you which base field you would like to use and we are going to use salesperson bit of a silly question I only have one field in row labels but anyhow it will ask I'll click OK and I now have a ranking for their sales so I can see that George is the best by the sales made you know, Rory is second Karen in third and so on I'll now repeat that for my conversion rate. Right click on one of the values, show values as, rank largest to smallest. Salesperson, click OK, and I've got another ranking now for that field. Now quite frustrating is that the, the titles continue to say sum of number sales, sum of conversion rate. That's really frustrating and needs looking at. But we can just change that for ourselves. Selecting that title there, I'll put sales ranking. And then maybe for conversion here, I'll put conversion ranking. And I can reduce the width for these columns as well. And we're now getting this ranking. So I can see that sales ranking here. So George may be the best at sales, but he's actually second when it comes to converting. Whereas you know the best at converting is Sam. He's actually fourth when it comes to number of sales. So there is an importance there to bring in this rank and field, accommodated now in Excel 2010, it's quite easy to bring in. Now if you wanted here, I'm not recommending this, that's not what I'm saying, but if you wanted here, you know, these fields can stand on their own. We don't need these other fields, like the original fields for these to work. I could quite happily remove them from my pivot table and just have the rankings. Most people want the value as well. <laughs> but um just showing that they're a, they're a field in their own right. It's not dependent on that field in any way. A lot of examples show them both. It's not necessary if that's not what you were going for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks. 
uh, at our YouTube channel and at our blog, computergargard.com.